Hi guys, week 14, the streak test and core samples. So for the first experiment, the streak test, um, you'll start with an empty table and you're gonna talk about the hardness and the most scale, hardness scale, sorry, the most hardness scale. Um, you talk about how the minerals hardness compared to other minerals, you give a number between one and 10. And then you talk about streak and how the color of a min um, minerals are a color when they're ground down to a powder. So after you've talked through all that stuff, which is in the lesson plan, then you'll hand out um, a little square streak thing, streak plate, sorry, to every kid. And um, I'm going to have a variety of uh, things to try, but we've got pennies, we have nails or screws, and we have spoons. And you're going to let them draw or write or whatever they want to do on their, on their plate. So as you can see, this is a Walmart spoon. It's not as good as my nice spoon. Check that out. It's a big difference. And I've got to decide what I want to do about the spoons because if everybody's scratching my spoons all day, they'll mess them up. So I will, um, the nail, the nail works. The nail will sometimes works okay. Nail, and I wrote an N-A there for the nail, and then I'll, I'll do a little squiggle mark. The penny actually works pretty well. So we might be okay with the spoon, even though it's light and a penny, and let the kids kind of draw or decorate on their streak plate as you then talk about, uh, talk more about minerals in the earth. Um, the lesson plan mentions using other uh, kinds of um, minerals to scratch and we're not going to do that so you can just kind of talk through this part uh, while they are decorating on their streak plate and then on to the second one the second one for this week is core sample so I will be giving you point it down you'll have a plate and three ping pong size balls of clay. These are smaller, but for um, this, it's totally fine. So you're gonna smash out three colors of clay, on one on top of each other. The kids are gonna be each poking a um, straw into this, so just keep that in mind as you're squishing it out. Make sure it's going to be big enough for the kids to squish it out, or to all poke, poke a straw into. Okay, so once you have done that, and this is going to be, this whole thing is talking about core sampling and drilling rigs and, and what they do and why that is useful and stuff. So we're, um, we're basically trying to, or this is representing the Earth's crust. So you stick your... Ah, you stick your straw in. I'm sorry, I can't talk very well. Let me make sure it went all the way through. Yep, it went all the way through, so I'm going to pull it back out. And then you can see that it's inside my straw. So now, with an adult's help, we're going to cut the straw open. I was trying out these little bitty, or these little kid scissors. I may have even tinier scissors that day so that their sample doesn't get damaged. Yeah, let's cut it like this. So then I can open it up. And in theory, I think your sample could potentially be a lot better than this. It's supposed to be, you know, more like layers. I mean, it looks pretty good in there, what I did, but I don't know why this didn't come out as well. It may be the size of scissors I use, but anyhow, you are showing that that is drilling. Um, this is sort of like drilling. And then you'll talk about how the core samples are used. So this is an um, interesting week. It's I think you'll, you'll spend more time on the street plate thing just because they can actually decorate it and keep it. And this might take you... 10 minutes at the end or five minutes. So that is week 14. Thanks guys.